Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shubham and you're watching SketchGuru. In today's video, we're going to see how to draw the realistic eyes. So without wasting time, let's start the video. So guys, let's see the material first. So this is how yours can look like afterwards. So I'm using a HP pencil for the basic shade. You can also use a two H pencils, it's up to you. Then I'm going to use a paper stamps for this. A mechanical pencil is must guys, so make sure you have it. Then I'm going to use a pencil eraser. Uh, can you use any pencil eraser? I'm using a black color pencil of a Staedtler's uh, 4B or 2B will be fine. But make sure you have a the box and also a Staedtler's 4B pencil and an eraser for some blending some highlights. So these are the materials which you should have. Uh, if you don't have all the materials, don't worry. You can just uh, use a 4B 2B pencil and that will be fine. I'm also using a battery operated derwent eraser and a mono eraser. So let's start it. So the first step is to draw a circle with your free hand. You can just use a free hand or you can use anything which is a circular or round shape. You can also use a round shape I think you want. Uh, it's not compulsory to get this uh, circle perfect. It's just have to uh, put anything basic shape of like a circle. So don't even bother if it's not looking like a circle. So next step is to design this line tower. This angle can be varied according to uh, different eyes and shapes. So I'm just going to keep it a normal at this line position like this. You can uh, make it straight or even slanting to, uh, towards uh, left somewhat. It's up to you. So from here around up to this position I'm just going to draw a small crease uh, which every eye has just the little just like this and the bottom one will be somewhat less slanting than the upper one so now I'm just going to draw the upper layer first upper eyelid uh, I'm just using a HB pencil or uh, you can also use a lighter pencil if you apply too much pressure while drawing uh, it's up to you no, no problem I'm just going to take this side uh, somewhat up and this is going to uh, make a slant shape and I'm going to attach that uh, to the other end at the right side so this will just look like a, a upper eyelid you can uh, see the any reference image for uh, getting this uh, very clearly what I'm just saying to you so after this I'm just going to draw a bottom lid so first I'm just going to go somewhat straight and then I'm just going to move the shape somewhat downward. So we are just making a basic shape guys. Uh, so after uh, during the making a sketch we can adjust these things according to us. So uh, we are just going to make an outline which is a basic outline. So try using this method for getting this outline perfect. So now it's time to draw the upper eye crease. Uh, this crease forms when we open our eye. Just use a shape of a top eyelid as a rough guide to follow along the straight at the edge of a circle. I'm going to draw the crease at the stretches all the way to the right, ending about the straight line. So it's up to you guys. Uh, you can see any reference picture and follow that picture according to you. So you can just keep uh, till the circle or you can just uh, extend it toward this line. So I'm just going to uh, extend it toward this line just slightly like this way. So now it's time to wrap uh, our outlines. So I bought this uh, diamond eraser from the Amazon. It cost me around uh, 450 rupees uh, or around uh, five dollars, I think. Uh, so I'm just going to erase all these things over here. Uh, the outline which I'm not needing right now, just like this. It's very simple, guys. Easy to erase. You don't have to use too much pressure. So after cleaning, you can always use a uh, some brush to just clean the surface and make it uh, clean so it's time to draw some details in the eye where the inner corner of the eye opens up to the eyeball draw a very faint shallow curve to separate two zones so I'm going to draw the iris next uh, sizing a good ruler of a thumb is for uh, iris is to take up 
about a two quarters of a eye horizontal for this measurement. I'm not including the inner corner of an eye. Uh, if you want a perfect shape, I will draw a full circle and the areas apart that fall outside of the eyeball. Let me just draw it nicely freehand. So just like I'm just using a sharp light, light pencil around 2 edge. So if even if I made a mistake, I can erase it afterwards. So I'm not going to draw the full circle and then afterward erase it. This will look nice. So I'm going to draw a reflection from a rectangular light source uh, as like a light box or a rectangular window. You can choose any shape you want for this uh, step as a circle, oval or two uh, rectangles on either side. You can really get creative here. Since the eyeball is a round surface, don't forget to skew the shape of the reflection. So it wraps around the curvature of your eyeball. This will help you to give the illusion of roundness. You can make uh, your shape more unique by throwing in some obstacles as well as example a photographer heading blocking the bottom left corner of an eye. Uh, you can just go to any reference image in the YouTube and anything. You can uh, just follow that reference image. You, you will see this reflection in uh, eye. I have drawn the pupil. The pupil size depends upon the light entering the iris. So, if there is a less light, the pupil will go brighter, and if there is a less um, more light, the pupil will go very smaller. So, it depends upon your lighting conditions, and this will not uh, need this thing will which, uh, will not need you unless you are drawing it like in without any reference image. So if there is a reference image you will around, need to draw the image exactly, the pupil exactly as a reference image. So it's not so, too much uh, important. So I will just uh, try to make some another highlights or maybe I will erase it afterwards and I don't like it too much. So next time we're just going to fill this pupil area fully dark because the pupil area is uh, there is no nothing. Uh, it's fully dark uh, area so we're just going to work around the pupil area uh, in the iris so we, i'm just going to shade this pupil area with my 4b pencil uh, sorry my 4b pencil is too much small and so i'm just using a 4b pencil because it's like a me medium pencil for sketching like a, uh, the f in the standard box i get uh, pencil of of to hb to 8b so four big uh, falls between or uh, between this hb to 8b so i'm just using this 4b uh, by using the 4b pencil you can get over here uh, more shades uh perfect shades which you want so i'm just going to make a circular shape uh, shading it very dark you can directly use a ball pen black ball pen or a black marker anything you want you just have to shade it fully dark so it's up to you you can do anything so after making the pupil now it's time to shade the outer area of the iris so i'm just using a phobia pencil guys for this uh, i'm just going to shade lightly how much pressure just small pressure uh, you can use 2b pencil for this it's up to you So guys, next step is for blending. I'm just going to use a paper stump for blending the graphite over it. So don't use too much pressure. Just small blending will be enough. So if you don't have a paper stump, you can also use a homemade or paper stump, like just like a piece of a paper. You can just rub with it, or you can just use a cotton bud or ear bud, what we say, anything uh, for this. So after this, now it's time to shade the inner part of the iris. So I'm just going to explain you how to do this first. Let me take a piece of paper. Yes, 
sharpness so what you have to uh, do is you don't have to use a pencil like this one uh, don't have to use a harsh line uh, you have to just slant the pencil like this way and you simply uh, use it like this there should not be a too much difference between them, each pencil strokes so if this is must for the blending it very uh, smooth for this purpose so you have to just keep your pencil stroke very very close with each other so that uh, it will look like a very smooth finish so uh, many of you asked me these things that how do you blend so smooth there is nothing uh, magical in this you just have to practice these things you don't have to use a very harsh uh, outline uh, or a harsh hard pressure on the pencil you just have to use a small pressure and build up layer by layer So now I'm just going to draw the eye shadow which falls on the iris at the top. So I'm just going to make it some light, a little bit darker than the edge of the iris, just to let me know uh, that how much dark I have to make. I will make it dark afterwards if I need it. So I'm just keeping it uh, very light right now. And after this, I'm just going to blend it so much, something like. Uh, just like a little bit, not too much. And this I'm going to blend this whole thing afterwards. Uh, just make sure you are keeping your uh, paper stone strokes in the circular motion, just like me. So what this does, it gives you a very nice blending rather than uh, using it very harsh. So now I'm just going to remove some dark highlight around the uh, this border which uh, by mostly I made it very dark than usual. You can use a nail eraser or a pencil eraser anything to make it light because uh, you don't have to show that uh, this is the highlight purposely. So it should look like natural rather than a uh, handmade like I'm just erasing the outline of this so it will look uh, much more realistic afterwards so outline is a must noise so it gives a, a realistic look afterwards after the making the sketch and it uh, pops up like a crazy uh, after the making the eye so it's must so in the next step I'm just going to draw this wavy like structure around the eyes uh, you can just keep it random don't uh, make it like a it's it should look natural don't uh, make it like similar all the way around you just have to use uh, your imagination how it will look you can use a reference image also any reference image for this but uh, make it natural only guys don't um, make it uh, artificial like it should not look fake So after this uh, I'm just going to draw the small small lines around the eyes which will uh, let me show you how you have to draw this. So this for example this is my iris so you don't have to draw this lines around the circumference you just have to make a, this like a center point and you should draw from the center just like this. So many of you make mistakes here so this is a small tip for you guys don't draw like, uh, like the previous one. So this I'm going to draw this. So if you want the real time video for my this full video, it's on my Patreon profile, it's on Tech Mango app. So if you want to learn me and want to connect with me, want to learn, uh, take a classes personally from me and uh, my all videos will be uploaded on that Tech Mango app, uh, which will have a subscription of 500 rupees per year. So in every year, uh, in the whole year part, you will get my guidance or upon the sketching what I use what I do good videos you can also have a live session for me with a small amount uh, so just download the app it is a link in my description just go and download the app and check my profile in there
so guys now i'm just going to draw some uh, darker highlights or uh, darker shades on the end of this uh, iris ring the inner ring uh, you can use the uh, mechanical pencil for this it will be handy and easy for, for you so if you're using a big scale you're using a pencil will be fine if your scale is too small you can use a mechanical pencil for that uh, you can use a, even the small lid rather than 0.5 I'm using a 0.5 lid right now you can go for 0.3 also so uh, sometimes I prefer uh, darkening the inner part view of a bugle um, with the marker or a pen so it's uh, like gives a realistic look sometimes so uh, make sure you practice with this thing first and if you are like confident that it will look uh, realistic after uh, making so you can use uh, some amount of uh, marker pen of a black pen it's up to you So now I'm just going to make some small triangles uh, below the each line which I have brought, uh, just like us, this. Let me show you. You just have to make that lines uh, small small triangles around those lines, and you just have to connect every line, just like this. So it will look something like this if you enhance it. So just make it. So in the next step, I'm just going to draw some lines around the uh, wavy line which we drawn first, and I'm just going to connect this line to the iris end part. So just like this, just watch it and learn it, guys. So make sure just don't use too much pressure for this. I'm just going to draw some lines. Just don't connect that uh, first wave which I've drawn first. Uh, just mm, keep some distance uh, from that wave and then draw
so I'm now just going to uh, use a uh, eraser I'm just going to connect this uh, two lines which you see the highlights between uh, the hours you can use any eraser for this I'm using a mono eraser for drawing these highlights make sure you don't uh, erase too much because the details will just vanish away I'm just using a light light pressure eraser and then after this I'm just going to darken the edge of the eraser which I have used right now so this will give just like a pop-up like uh, highlight and it will look really realistic very realistic So next time I'm just going to make this crease of our eye. So for this you I'm just going to shade with the SB pencil first, then I'm just going to make the somewhat darker with the 2B or you can only just use a HB pencil according to you. So just uh, if you have any reference image of eye, you can follow that uh, image, that pattern over there. So I'm just making it with my imagination. You can use your own, it's up to you. So for now making the uh, base of the eye which is a bottom base so I'm just going to um, use a HB pencil or make a pattern like structure with it and uh, I'm just going to create some dark lights like a wrinkle for this so if you want to see this in real time video you can get in my Patreon profile uh, which is on Tag Mango app. Uh, you can subscribe my, to my Tag Mango app for one month, uh, sorry, one year, uh, around some minimum fees, and you will get all my videos, uh, my tips and tricks uh, on in that. So for using tissue, um, first you, by before using tissue, make sure your tissue is clean first of all, and then just uh, uh, apply the tissue. Uh, with the right patient make sure while using the tissue your uh, sketch will get more lighter than it was before so it's up to you you can you if you want to use the tissue you can use or you, if you're fine with the um, paper stamps it's it's okay you can do anything but I prefer using a tissue because it gives you a soft texture as compared to any other So I'm just going to continue with the working with layers for this. Uh, if you want to this and watch in real time, you can always watch on my profile. So I'm just going to make it uh, quick time lapse for the scan sharing. Uh, so it's up to you guys. Uh, you can work out according to your reference image for this. So enjoy the video. I will see you in some time. So now it's time to draw the eyelashes. For the eyelashes, I'm just going to create some basic shapes uh, for the reference of my image. And every eyelashes should be different uh, uh, with respect to other. So don't just uh, create like a straight lines for the eyelashes. You just have to make some J type structure for drawing the eyelashes and just draw like this way. So you can see how I'm drawing. I'm using a uh, ribbons right now for this. So because eyelashes are much more darker than the skin texture. Color uh, uh, work slowly, don't rush too much. 
lashes just like this uh, the eyelashes at the end of the eye uh, for this and uh, the right end it will be more uh, dense than as compared to the left part so the lips and observation you have to observe in each eye uh, so uh, let me tell you one thing if you are making a paid portrait or a commission work so it's not compulsory that every time you get you will uh, you will get that same eye uh, yeah, like I'm drawing right now so every eye will be a different one uh, so it's you just have to absorb the eye uh, sometimes it happens that you don't see the eyelashes mostly in every picture if you notice you just go and uh, see the pictures which are of wider range not too close up and most of your customers will give you such pictures only which are of, uh, far from your camera and which have made much more background so I don't use such kind of pictures for uh, making sketches uh, because you don't get any details uh, if I want to draw the hyper realistic eye you will need a hyper realistic photo right so it's just on the reference image guys if your reference image is too good then you can like create such fine details like I'm creating So now I'm just going to give some touch-ups for my sketches. So I'm just going to keep this in this thing in real time, so that you guys can see. I know most of you love this piece, uh, in real time. So just for you guys, you can watch how I'm working. I'm just adding a layer, uh, darkening some areas, uh, finishing the work, like uh, giving it a, some touch-ups. So see you in the end of the video. Our eye is almost complete. So if you are to draw it right now you can start your sketches so i'm just going to do a touch up right now
so guys that's all for today hope you like my video so this video was especially for my 1k subscribers thank you so much guys for supporting me uh last week only i got on 1k subscribers completed and hope so soon i will complete 4000 watch hours also so if you haven't subscribed my channel please do subscribe and don't forget to like and comment and you can also follow me on instagram there i'm much much more active and i question almost every question asked by you so dm me on instagram uh, or comment on my post how you like uh, do you like them or uh, or you have any doubts you can ask me there it's up to you uh, if you want to interact with me please do interact or uh, and uh, my patreon profile link will be on the description so if you subscribe my uh, tag mango app uh, in this first week you will get some discounts on it so thank you take care bye bye see you stay safe